Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. If you joined me on Tuesday when I shared the Creative Fold, I used the Delightful Daisy Designer Series paper for a quick um, Creative Fold beautiful paper and it complements the Daisy Delight bundle. This bundle has probably been out of stock more than it's been in stock and that's because it is just absolutely gorgeous. I fit featured it last month as a special PDF file and since then I have found a lot of other quick and easy uses for this punch and stamp set. So I thought I would show them today. The Daisy Delight is a stamp set, 16 photopolymer stamps, and the beautiful Daisy Punch. I have to admit, when I first seen this, I thought, I do not need another flower punch. I have lots of flowers. But this flower is so different. So let's get started. I am going to bring in my paper piercing pad, and I'm just going to be using um, the note um, cards, and I see I did not bring a green ink pad over, so I'm going to go grab that. Sorry about that. So I've got my green um, ink pad. Just going to open that note card up, and I'm going to stamp three of the little stems and next what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a piece of that designer series paper I'm going to bring in my black ink pad and I think we forget about this a lot when we have an open stamp to stamp right on the paper and I see I didn't leave myself a lot of room to wiggle around with that stamp. I also see my black ink pad is a little bit dry but we'll make it work here. So I'm going to stamp three flowers. I'm going to grab that daisy punch and go in and punch those out. Now I may not need all three of them. Like I said, I see one of them is a little bit on the light side. So we may not use that. We'll see what happens here. But I'm going to go ahead and punch it out. Get it lined up here. Well. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I am just going to trim just a couple of those petals off, just like so. That's got four. Let's do three on this one. So I really didn't need all of those. I'm going to go ahead, instead of using that lighter one, I am going to use that dark. So I've got three different flowers. I'm going to go back into that note card, and I'm just going to add them like so. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to grab my three-quarter inch punch and a piece of black cardstock and I'm going to punch out three circles. Going to grab my dimensionals and add them to those flowers. Now these big black three quarter are very um, bold. Let's put that one down like that. but really give you a great center. You could also use them just for the flower completely. Add a little verse and you've got a quick note card. The next thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to go in with my Mist Stampin' Mist Cleaner and I am going to clean that black ink off. 
This is the quickest washer and dryer you'll ever get. If you do not have our cleaning um, pad, it has little fibers on there. So I make one side wet for my washer and the other side the dryer and it just makes perfect thing to clean my stamps with. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the yellow and I am going to stamp three daisies, Delightful or Daffodil Delight ink and Daffodil Delight cardstock. And I'm going to go ahead and punch those out. Arthritis in my hands today. Let's see if we put put it down like so. If you have problems with a punch and punch like so, makes it so much easier if you have problems with your hands and arthritis. I've got those. But then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those three daisies, I'm gonna turn them over. And I'm going to stamp on the back side. A great reason to be using photopolymer is so that you can see exactly where you're stamping. So I stamped right on the back. So I have the image of the daisy on the front and the back. And why I'm stamping, I'm going to bring in another note card and the stem in the old olive. And go ahead and stamp three stems. I'm going to go back to those daisies and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold them in half so now it looks like I've got a double petal of daisy. So another great technique. And that is why I stamped on the back. So the stamped image is on the front and the back. And you can see that very nicely. And I'm going to grab that glue dot and add them to my card. Now I see I may want to um, add a glue dot to the center, but we'll see once I get my flower already done if I will need that. So I've got that. I have got now a piece of early espresso and again that three quarter inch punch. This time I'm only going to punch two circles but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut those in half. So now I have more of a look of a Black Eyed Susan. Because they're smaller, I'm just going to use my smaller dimensionals. These smaller dimensionals came out with a new catalog and I love them because you don't have to cut um, your bigger dimensionals apart. They're just perfect for small pieces like this. So I've got those centers and now I'm going to put them on my flowers. And again, it gives me, I'm going to go ahead and add dimension, or excuse me, glue dots to the bottom two flowers. So I'm going to leave that top one popping up, the petals, but these I'm going to kind of push down. I see my petals are coming off. I guess I could bring that more into the camera range. There we go. I see the petals are kind of popping off the card there. So you could trim them off if you didn't like them. But there you have a black eyed Susan um, note card. So once again, just fun different ways that you can use that daisy punch and the delightful uh, the Daisy Delight stamp set. A great bundle. When you buy them together, get 10% discount. So hurry over to my online store. They are available right now, but who knows for how long. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.